At at least one death and at least 63 instances of respiratory illnesses or ailments related to vaping products. Then just this morning, another death was announced in Tulare County. It's the second in the state and the seventh in the country. The most unfortunate part uh, is that uh, this is a completely preventable cause of death. Dr. Dillon has been treating patients impacted by vaping, and as he explained, the symptoms can vary widely. The symptoms may not all be lung-related because the initial symptoms could be chest pain, shortness of breath, or cough, but patients can have other symptoms like GI symptoms, nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea, and systemic symptoms, which could be fever, weight loss, loss of appetite. And they can show up in a few weeks or rapidly in just a few hours. The number one symptom, though, is a shortness of breath. The group that worries health officials most are children who are vaping. But most parents don't even know what to look for. It is very important for the parents to be vigilant, to look at different products, to ask their children about this use in the right environment, and uh, also watch out for things that don't make sense. Some vaping devices are disguised to look like other things, like USB drives. Dr. Dillon says it's important to know if your children are vaping. He says right now, no one should be vaping. Uh, we do not know whether it is a certain brand, ingredient, one product or another. So at this time, it's safe to presume that all kind of vaping is dangerous so that we do not risk any more additional lives.